Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. And in this lecture, we are going to talk about CS and Life Science Unit 9. CS and Life Science Unit 9 syllabus, CS and Life Science Unit 9 classification biology or animal classification. Again, uh, this is classification biology. So it includes animal classification as well as plant classification. So prefer to call it as a classification on inheritance biology or classification biology. So let's start with this unit 9. And first thing is the unit 9 syllabus, CS and Life Science Unit 9 syllabus. And they have classification biology in it. They have a uh, human uh, like Indian geo uh, subcontinents and biogeographic and realms in it. The flora and fauna that are present in it. So that is also important. That's also part of it. Cladogram analysis, taxonomy analysis is another part of this unit 9. Okay. So again, uh, like every single lecture, every single video on CS and Life Science Know Your Syllabus series, we are going to color code the syllabus based on green, yellow and red. Green most important, yellow moderately important, red least important. Starting with this principle and methods of taxonomy, red least important concepts of species and hierarchical taxa. What is taxa? The components of a taxonomic diagram, uh, marking of that, what they mean and everything the basics of it the next one is level of structural organization that is very very important unicellular organism colonial or multicellular form of organism levels of organization and everything is very very important most important levels of structural organization based on that the classification for the invertebrate still uh, phylum level and vertebrate still class level this is very important outline classification of plants and animals so again animal classification for invertebrates still phylum vertebrates still class plant classification is equally important uh, because they have asked question from this plant classification every single time and this is something from the hardcore classical botany topic so obviously if you're not from that uh, domain you can ignore that part and again the animal classification is hardcore classical zoology background so if you're not from zoology background you can ignore that so unit 9 i put it into, into our red book not that important because I believe that most of us who came from a modern biology background will not like reading unit 9. Natural history of Indian subcontinent is moderately important. Many people don't even give weightage to this. But in reality, if you find the question, if you check the question, you will be surprised of how many questions asked from natural history of Indian subcontinent. So this is really important. Common Indian birds, mammals, uh, seasonality of phenology of subcontinent is really, really important. It's not that less important. Organisms of health and agriculture importance like parasites, pathogens of humans and all, not that important. So now the question pattern that uh, is asked here, the memory based questions are maximum, the analytical questions are very, very low here. And there will be more part B question than part C question because these are memory based direct questions that are asked. So if you want to ask a question related to like uh, pink headed uh, duck in India, which were uh, present earlier at, at, at a point. Right now, they are not anymore with us. So this pink-headed duck. So regarding the question like that, like which organisms uh, they range in a particular geographical area from this time to this time and now not uh, present. So question like this, there's only one single answer to it. Either you know it or you don't know it. So there is nothing beating around the bush regarding unit nine, most of it. But a portion from cladogram analysis that is regarding the taxonomic part, that is something uh, that you can answer with uh, practice and analysis, okay? So I always tell my students to focus on the cladogram analysis part. If you want to just answer one or two questions, if they ask any cladogram question, what they do generally, you will be able to answer that question. So before going into the next part of our discussion, there is five most important topics from this unit. Let me tell you one simple idea. If you enjoy this video, if you like this kind of knowledge, this kind of information, like who someone studies uh, the complete syllabus and give you a clear gist of that syllabus and topic so that you can prepare in the less number of uh, months, in the less amount of time to cover most of the syllabus, then you can think of joining Shomu's Biology Online Coaching Program. We have all this tailored for you. You can get this ready-made available at your disposal and uh, you can get our study material you can still get some benefit from it so we have different kind of packages depending upon your requirement also depending upon uh, the affordability so you can try out any of our service either study material or our coaching services if you want to get this the link here in this in the description and also we have this number that is popping in this uh, side this is our universal number you can contact this number whatsapp this number the admission for the coaching process will continue and uh, uh, if if obviously we take the students from the admission time frame which is two to two, two and a half months and beyond that time we don't take anyone in the middle so if the admission is going on we'll definitely cater you for that session or I'll tell you to wait for the next session 
so you can try this out and i believe that nobody is offering two years validity with that much of price point that we are offering so you're going to get everything for two years and two years means four net examinations so it will obviously increase your chance to qualify cs net examination even when you are not in touch with us so what are you waiting for if you wish to join you can always join in here so now the most read and uh, like must read questions the most important five most important must read question from unit 9 uh here for you first of all is animal classification second one is plant classification but again uh, you can snub any of this either zoology background animal classification if you are from botany background go with plant classification next is organism of importance for conservation uh we have cladogram analysis and taxonomy basics in fourth topic and natural history of indian subcontinent as a fifth topic so these are the five topics for unit 9 uh, that is classification biology classification plants as well as classification of animals although more questions will be there from classification of animals but there are occasional question from classification of plants as well as from natural history of indian subcontinent so if you think this is boring you can leave this but uh, like cladogram analysis you can at least try if you practice it you can understand cladogram in two days the videos are there in my channel and i'm going to upload new videos regarding this so stay tuned to get more videos like that if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you bye